in our last class we have learned how you can make a simple lower third using adobe premiere pro and how you can save it as an essential graphics template so that you can use it again and again and today we're going to see how you can make a title template just like this one using adobe premiere pro so that you can make your own essential graphics template right so first you need to make a new project if you are going to use that template again and again on a 4k project on a 4k video then you have to make a 4k sequence again if you want to use it for hd video then you have to work on a hd sequence so let's see how you can do that first you need to make a new project i'll just click here on the new project icon and then i'll name it title i'll select a folder where i want to save it i'll select this folder i'll click select and then click create here right then premiere pro will make a new project after making the new project i have to make a new sequence i am going to use it on my 4k video every single day so i'm going to make a 4k sequence how you can make that you have to go here on the project panel if you don't see the project panel then you have to go to window and from here you'll see project and then click on the project name that you have made earlier right click here then this panel will appear there you'll see a option which is new item here right or you can just click here on this blank space and right click click new item and from here click sequence then this window will appear and from here you have to make a 4k sequence i have already made a custom sequence if you don't see any custom sequence then you can always change the settings of your sequence just select the digital slr one which is 1080p this one 24 fps then go to settings and from here change the size of your frame i will just use 3840 for 4k video and the vertical one is 2160 i'll use 24 fps and that's it i will not change anything from here i will rename it maybe title then click ok so this is the template we're going to use here the template is consists of two different parts one is the text animation and other one is the background first we're going to make a text animation to work with a text animation or to work with text you need to use essential graphics window right go to window and from here click essential graphics then this panel will appear go to edit and from here you can just click new layer and from here you can click text then you will see there is a text layer right you can just write your name or whatever you want to write i'll just write my new tie tell right and there you can change the font if you scroll down there you'll see a option which is text if you double click here on the text then you can select the text and from here you can change the font that you want to use you can change the size or you can change the distance between the letters right so i'll just keep it maybe just like that i'll not change anything i'll just make it center align text and from here i'll align it center horizontally and align it center vertically right so that's it that is the text portion now you have to separate the text layer from the background layer using folder so here on the essential graphics panel you'll see there is a folder option right create a group if you click here then it will make a new folder if i click here on this arrow you'll see it is minimizing and again if i click here it will expand and under this folder i have put my text which is this one right if i turn off the visibility you'll see the text is disappearing again i can make it visible now i have to use a effects to have a illusion that i am writing the text so if you want to use a writing text animation or typewriter animation in adobe premiere pro you can use crop effect so you need to go to here on the effects panel from here you have to search for crop just write crop so to apply the crop effect you have to click and drag this crop effect and you have to place this crop effect on top of this text layer place it here then this crop effect will be applied just only for this text it will not apply on other groups so that is the reason we have made the folder right we have made the group you can just rename the group maybe you can rename it text so that we can easily know what is that right so let's animate the text so if i just zoom into my timeline i can see the text layer duration is four second if you want a longer duration then you can just click and drag it to extend the duration maybe five second or six second i think six second or five second is good enough for a title animation now i have to animate that so that it looks like we are writing the text 
to animate the text you have to go to fx control panel and from here you will see under the text group which is this one the crop effect have been applied and under that there is the text right we have to animate the crop effect so that it looks like we are writing the text so take your playhead here where you want to stop the writing animation maybe this much i think is good enough okay now we have to enable the animation for these properties click here on the toggle animation for all of the properties now get back here on the beginning or maybe after few frames maybe here and then click here on the crop section right then you see there is bounding box you can just click and drag this bounding box to collapse it and now if i play it back you see there is a text animation if you found the text animation duration is a little bit faster then you can just change the distance between these two keyframes right if you increase the duration then the speed of the animation will decrease if i play it back again you can see the speed of the animation have been decreased right again i will decrease it a little bit more and here you can just right click on the keyframe then you can ease out and you can select the first one then right click and you can ease in so that it will have a smooth motion if i play it back again it will have a smooth motion now we want to disappear the text as it is erasing right so how we can do that again we are going to follow the same technique take your playhead maybe here and now again click here on the add keyframe section add keyframe for all the properties now get back here where you want to end the animation then select again the crop section then you'll see the bounding box you can just click and drag it to hide the text right if i play it back the text is appearing and again it is erasing right so that is what we want so we have successfully completed the first section which is the text animation now we have to add a background so that it looks great when you are going to use it for your titles right how you can do that you have to again go to essential graphics panel if you don't see that you can always go to window and you can click here on the essential graphics now create a new folder name it background as we are going to use it as a background we have to click and drag it under this text layer right here so this is our background layer and now we have to use some elements on our background layer so for that reason i'm going to import some medias so i'll go here and from here i will use a background maybe film grain overlay this one i can just click and drag it to import it i'll put a link of this exact same file in the description below so that you can download it and now you can just click and drag it and you can place it here in the background folder right just release it so that the background player appears here on the background folder if i play it back now you will see there is a background under the text if you don't like the black background you can change it you can use the effect called invert to change the color of the background layer right go to effects panel and from here search for invert click and drag this invert effect and place it here on top of your film grain layer this one right now you see the color of the background layer have been inverted but we cannot see the text layer properly because the color of the text is white also right so click here double click here on the text and you can scroll down and you can go here on the fill color section you can change it to a dark gray so that we can see the text properly now if i play it back this is our text animation you can use any background that you like now it's time to save the animation as a essential graphics template so let's go to here which is graphics and titles and click here export as motion graphics template and give it a name i'll name it jp title and from here you can include some text maybe jp press enter then title then jp title this tag will help you to search the title very easily within the essential graphics panel right click here okay then premiere pro will export the template and save it go here which is the browse now you'll see here is our new template right this is my previous one and this is the one that we have made right now right if you click and drag it you can see that have been appeared and you can use it again and again for your video you don't need to make the animation 
every single time right so that's it that is how you can make a title animation in adobe premiere pro with a video background and that's the way that you can use to save it as an essential graphics template so that you can use it again and again i hope you have liked this video if you have liked this video and learned something new from this one then you can give me a thumbs up and if you know this channel want to learn adobe premiere pro video editing then you can subscribe to this channel to get more video just like this one i'll catch you guys on the next one until then goodbye